What would you do if your darling left you? Hmm, is this even a question, my friend? You mean to say, what would my darling do if I leave him? Oh dear, now I have to tell a story. Okay, so this is what happens in the past. You see this beauty? I know, right? It's young, fresh, and beautiful. So a long time ago, when my darling brought me in Canada, he was a bit skeptical. Because, of course, rumors has it Filipinas are scammers. And he got nervous because he was thinking I would leave him after I get my green card. But to his surprise, I did not leave him. And a few years later, I really proved it to him that I will never leave him because obviously I love him, right? And then at some point, I saw him crying and I was like, darling, what's the matter with you? And he's like... <laughs> Honey, my love's so sweet. I feel so guilty. And I was like, why? What's the problem? He was like, I feel like I don't deserve you at all. And then I said, what do you mean, darling? And he was like, well, look at you. You look so young. You're an amazing woman. And you are too good to be true. And I feel so guilty of keeping you in my life. And I was like, darling, can you please explain it more to me? Because I don't understand. So he was like, well, honey, dear, I would never have thought that you would stay with me and be by my side. And after all this time, you never complain of taking care of me. In fact, you're always so happy. And I was so surprised because I thought you were cheating. And I thought, what kind of woman would stick around with a wrinkly old man? <laughs> I don't deserve you at all. Please, I beg you to leave me, my love. Please leave me. Find someone that can make you even more happy because I feel like I'm not giving you happiness at all. <laughs> and I said, darling, darling, calm down. What are you talking about? I'm not leaving you. I'm happy being with you. And he was like, <laughs> are, are you sure you're not pretending that you're happy with me? I was like, obviously, I'm not. I'm with you because... I love you very much with all of my life. Mm. And he was like, is that true, my honey? I said, duh, of course. And he was like, you know, I heard that a lot of Filipina would just use an old man for a green card or permanent resident card. But I guess you prove it to me that I'm wrong. And so I said, darling dear, you will never ever have to worry about me leaving you because I will never ever ever leave you. So I said, you are my world darling and as long as you live, I will never have to work. So he's like, yeah, I know. I don't want you to work dear. I don't want you to ruin your beauty. So now you know my friend, my darling will never ever leave me because he even begged me to leave him. But I said, no, 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 no. You stick with me and I stick with you. We stick each other. Okay? What if he wants you to work to help pay for bills? Um, are you kidding me? Do you have any idea how many times I ask him and I beg him? Darling, I want to work. I want to help pay the bills because you know I feel so bad for you. You're the one who's paying for everything. And he was like, my precious Filipina queen. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror? And I was like, yes, of course, many times. And he said, what do you see? I was like, obviously, my face. And he was like, no, 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 no. What else do you see? And I was like, I guess I'm cute. He was like, no, 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 dear. Your beauty is too beautiful to work. And I don't want you ruining your beauty. So no, 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 no. You are not allowed to work. So he was like, why would you want to work when you can do other things? You can do TikTok, you can watch movies, you can do cooking, gardening, read books, and go out with Fardeep and have a date with Fardeep. You guys can even do camping without me. Just leave me here alone as long as you're happy with Fardeep. Because obviously, I know you're happy being with me. And on top of that, you're happy that you're with Fardeep. So can you imagine you have two happiness in your life? And I was like, you know, darling, it's so nice to make my own money, you know. 
I want to see how hardworking I am because, you know, I am a Filipina, so that makes me a hardworking Filipina. And he was like, oh, no, dear, I'm telling you right now, you don't want to work at all. And I said, why, though? He was like, I see how you work, dear. You don't like following rules. And when you go to work, they give you all these rules. Do this, do that, don't do that. It must be this, this, and that. I know you're not like that, my dear, so don't go to work because I know you're not gonna like it. Now, you see, my friend, I cannot work because my darling dear is preventing me from working because he said the queen must not work. Okay, my friend, now you know. Make your own opportunities. Don't take advantage of someone else. Well, the problem, my friend, is I tried not to take advantage of him. But he keeps forcing me, Helga, please take advantage of me. And I said, no, I don't want to because I'm a good person. And he was like, Helga, please, I beg you, even if I have to sell my soul to you, just marry me and please take advantage of me. And I was like, sir, don't do that. Why would you sell your soul to me? I'm not a devil. And he was like, I was just teasing you, dear. I know you're a good person and will never buy my soul. And I was like, sir, you made me nervous for a moment. And he was like, please, Helga, what can I do to make you say yes to my proposal? And I was like, nothing, really. And then he was like, oh, there's gotta be something. And I was like, well, can you buy my papa a boat? And he was like, what is a boat, dear? And I was like, you know, boat as in boat, B-O-A-T, because my papa is a fisherman. And then he was like, Ah, boat. Oh, Hilga, dear, you are so cute. That's why I want to marry you. And then he said, Dear Helga, I will buy your papa a boat. What else do you need, dear? And then I said in a shy way, because of course I was very shy and I don't want to take advantage, right? I said, Can you also buy my parents a carabao? He said, Of course, dear. Why carabao? Well, because my parents are fishermen and farmers. Then he said, oh my God, Helga, I'm really falling for you. You know that? You are such a true Provinciana woman. And then he said, anything else, dear? And I said, well, can you buy me some Barbie? Because of course I was super young, right? And he was so old. And he was like, oh dear, you're so cute. Okay, how about this? Since it's weird to buy you a Barbie, how about this? I will treat you like a princess. And then later on, at the right time and at the right age, I will treat you like my queen. And then I said, really, you will? <coughs> and I said, yes, I do. He's like, no, 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 say that when we get married. For now, say, yes, I will marry you. And then I said, yes, I will marry you, my darling. Take me to Canada, give me citizenship, spoil me like a princess, and treat me like a queen in the future. And in return, I will also let you take advantage of me. And the rest is history. Mm -hmm.